grew up on the countryside of time. Yo, what's up, YouTube? So a few a while ago, I posted a video uh, titled 8.5 Rear End Swap." Uh, from a, I took it from a 94 Caprice and I put it into my 89 Caprice. I thought it was an 8.5, but it turned out that it was actually a 7.652. So it, it's pretty much a 7.5. So this video that's coming up that you're about to see now is an actual 8.5 and I actually confirmed it by uh, searching the RPO code that's on uh, the, that's etched into the, the, the rear end. I didn't do that on the first one because I didn't have the information uh, to know what to look for when I'm looking for a rear end. But uh, I did go, I picked up a, a rear end from a guy from Facebook Marketplace, but you'll see all that coming up in a second. But the reason that I'm starting with this, this preface is because I made a mistake and this is why I always say in the videos, I'm not like a, a specialist, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not like this expert uh, with box Chevy stuff. I'm learning as I go and I read a lot on the forums and I watch a lot of people's videos so I'm learning as I go but I'm trying to uh, teach people as I learn which is kind of hard because sometimes you learn stuff and it's not what you actually thought it was yeah so I left the video up just so y'all can go back uh, and check it out to see the mistakes that I made um, and hopefully y'all don't make them. I did retitle it though. All right, y'all, so uh, as y'all seen in the video yesterday, I found out that the rear end that I got in here is actually a seven and a half, basically. Uh, so what I did, I went and bought uh, uh, 8.5 from a dude, what, in Marksville, Louisiana? Yeah, it's like an hour and a half away from Lafayette, but, this uh, this rear end, I know for sure that this is a, uh, it is what I think it is now. After doing the research, I thought I did research when I went and grabbed that rear end out of the, out of that uh, 94, but you know, it's all good. Like I've been telling y'all the whole time, man. I'm learning, I'm learning as I go, really. But the good thing about making mistakes for me is now that. I not only learn from them, but I can send y'all the videos and post them online, and now y'all can learn from them too. But uh, now I know to look for this RPO code over here. Damn, can't even see it. Well, the RPO code for this for this rear end is 2LY. The dude said that it came out of a a Roadmaster. I don't. The Roadmasters come with uh, disc brakes. But anyway, the, the RPO code also works for a Caprice uh, 9C1 with 323 gears. So if this has this, the stock differential and stock ring gear, it should have 323 gears. Got my rear end, I got my disc brakes. Need a lot, of more, a lot more work, y'all. But this yeah see this is what I, what I was trying to show y'all see that you can barely see the two but that's a 2LY and I'm going to show y'all the uh, where I got this information at that show you the RPO codes and what they mean see that I also post a link uh, to this web page and I'm going to pin the comment and I'm going to also put it in the description. It's been like a month, two months since that last clip that I showed y'all. But um, I got the rear end up in here, man. And I did verify it is indeed 323 gears and it's open. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, caught up because I don't know whether I want to wait to put this rear end when I can get 373 gears or just use the 323s cause that should be much better than a 273 but I, I don't think uh, I don't think 323s is gonna be enough but anyways y'all what I'm about to do now I cleaned it up and got all the mud and mud off last time but today I'm gonna get uh, this rust off 
I got some rust rust dissolver, the same shit that I used on the first uh on the first uh rear end. Y'all seen that though. But I'm gonna clean up these calipers. Finally got disc brakes. Go get disc brakes on this thing, man. Um I'm also have to do the two bolt mod. I don't know if the the master cylinder from a box is the same as a bubble. I'm pretty sure it is. I think it is. So I'm gonna do the two bolt mod and y'all can research that, but basically what that does is uh, increase the braking pressure for the rear brakes because the drums don't require as much pressure as the, the discs do. So a lot of these cars that came with the disc brakes, like the Impala SS and the 9C1s, even though they had disc brakes, they still weren't uh, weren't strong because they weren't they wasn't really being used. But uh, yeah, man, I'm about to I'm about to do this thing. Hopefully, I can clean it up and paint it tonight. I'm gonna take these lines off. I'm gonna I may reuse these brake lines. It don't look like nothing wrong with them, but I really just want to buy new ones. I'm also thinking about offering LS swaps as a service to other people who got box Chevys because I done had a few people ask me to do their swaps but I don't really have space so once I get some space I'm going to be doing LS swaps so if y'all want y'all shit swap and I'm going to be doing them for cheap for at least the first three or four cars probably because I still don't have enough experience and uh, a part of it is just me trying to gain experience and it's also going to be like a, a source of income as well but eventually I'm going to have my own shop man one day one day um, yeah, I'm gonna clean this thing up, man. All right, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I got a little, I sprayed some of the rust dissolver on the rear end. I got it soaking. It said take about 30 minutes. Uh, I did the the brake disc just for shits and giggles. I might reuse those if I, if I take some sandpaper to them and they look decent. But uh, it, they only like $90, I think, for both. So I might as well just get some more. Um, I'm probably get some drilled and slotted ones uh, so they can match the, the front. But anyway, I'm about to go ahead and clean up these calipers. Um, I was going to paint them, but I think it's kind of... I, I like the way the aluminum look, actually. So I'm going to probably paint... I'm, I'm going to probably leave these how they are and just paint the front ones silver. Uh, hopefully I can get a color close to aluminum uh, so I can leave these raw. Alright, I did the best I could, man. You can see the one on the left is a little bit cleaner because I hit it with that sandpaper because the wire brush. And it's, uh, I got this mag wheel cleaner for aluminum, but this is the PVD in aluminum. There's another one that's a self etching aluminum cleaner and it works a whole lot better. Uh, so I'm going to hit it with that. Uh, and if it don't clean up, then I'm going to have to paint it. Um, Cause it ain't really no dirt on it. I don't know what that, that black shit is. Um, but anyway, I might have to hit it with that. See the rear end looking good. Probably about to wipe this off. And then hit it with some degreaser. And then spray it down. I came back out here the next day and I forgot my camera. So, gotta use the phone. Did you see that, that rust, uh, that rust dissolver turned it white. But it's not not really no rust on there. I'm gonna probably hit it one more time after I clean it up. I'm gonna knock all this white shit off with the wire brush. And then I'm gonna clean it up one more good time. And then I'm gonna put the one more one more round of rust dissolver on it. Well it depends on how it looks. Then I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. First I wasn't going to, but I'm glad I did it. I pulled the axle out, axles out. I wasn't going to at first, but I said, fuck it, I got this, got this shit all apart. As you can see, this one is clean. I put some rust converter on it. This one has some, uh, some material, man. Some, uh, ground up steel, I guess. I don't know. And I was just going to throw this back in and drive with it. <laughs> Glad I didn't. But I'm going to clean this up. Knock this off with the wire brush. Then hit it with a little sandpaper and, you know, I'm going to have to get some new bearings and seals too. Alright, it's, uh, it's finally been painted. You see these few spots? That's just where I hit it again or after it dried the first time. 
Uh, I just seen a few spots that was kind of light, so I hit it one more time. But it came out all right, man. I mean, I kind of rushed the prep. Once I got all of that white stuff off, you know, I should have wiped it down with like some alcohol or something, but I just hit it with some brake cleaner and then sprayed some air, some compressed air on it. So hopefully this uh this will hold up. But I mean, it ain't gotta be special because you ain't gonna see it mostly. I left that off. Man, I'm gonna just go ahead and get the posi, bro. I was gonna try to run these gears, but I'm gonna just go ahead and get the posi and the new gears. 373 gears, that's what we're going with. I'm gonna get an aluminum uh, rear cover. When I buy my welder, I'm gonna come back and weld these uh well, these uh, tubes, I ain't gonna be making too much power. I'm gonna probably be shooting for 500 to the wheel once I get my, you know, everything in order with the with the motor. But that's later down the line. Right now, we'll probably only be pushing about 250 to the wheel max, 250, 280, something like that. I think 4.8 come with 280 to the crank, so we probably we may not even be getting 250 to the wheel. But anyway, I didn't bored y'all enough, man. Y'all see, I, I done made a mess out here. I got the axes out. Still good. Got all that shit off it. I don't know what, what that shit was, like grounded material. But I don't know, man. I'll see y'all later. Peace.